Hi there, everyone. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Ashley Baylor. We continue to track the tropics. All eyes are on Hurricane Irene. Just as of this morning, she became a major Category 3 hurricane, packing winds of 115 miles per hour. You can see she was centered over Turks and Caicos early this morning, and she is going to continue to track off to the west and northwest right over the Bahamas. Notice it is fairly slow moving, only around 8 miles per hour, so she continues to gather strength. She's basically feeding off of the warm water that is down in the Caribbean. But here's your tropical tracker. So a Category 3 storm right now. But watch as she tracks over the Bahamas. She's going to run right along the coast of Florida and uh, Georgia and South Carolina. But it looks like she is going to make landfall in the Outer Banks of North Carolina as a major Category 3 hurricane, packing winds of anywhere between 115 to 120 miles per hour. And notice she will continue to run right up the eastern seaboard into southern New England as we get into the weekend. So just here's a closer look at what we can expect. You'll notice by 2 a.m. on Sunday. She's approaching Delmarva as a Category 2 storm. But once she starts to get into the cooler waters of southern New England, she is going to start to lose a little bit of intensity. So by the time she reaches New England, she is a Category 1 hurricane, so still rather uh, strong winds, very heavy rainfall. We're actually going to start to tap into the outer bands of Irene as early as Saturday afternoon. So at this point, it looks like Saturday night, Sunday through the early morning hours are going to be a complete washout again. Heavy rain, strong winds. We could be talking rainfall amounts of anywhere from three to six inches by the time we finally put I Irene in our rear view mirror and vice versa. She puts us in her rear view mirror. So again, she's a category three storm right now. Winds are roughly 115 miles per hour, but she will downgrade to a category two when she gets past the outer banks of North Carolina. By the time she reaches southern New England, she is expected to be downgraded to a category one storm, but still packing winds anywhere from 74 to 95 miles per hour. Remember at WWLP.com, we do have a special banner on the top of our homepage that's where you can find all the latest information on Hurricane Irene and the history of hurricanes and tropical storms that have already made their appearance in the 2011 Atlantic hurricane season.